gonna uh, do a marking of the queen. We already caught her. This is a uh, Brushy Mountain queen catcher clip. I don't know if you can see all the bees on there. There's a queen in there. She's marked, I think, with green, they tell me. <laughs> but since I'm colorblind, we're gonna mark her with white. And so, you can do it without a queen muff, but I highly advise these. I spent many a day dropping queens, looking in the grass for them, and they're really hard to find, especially if you got dark bees. They're hard to find in the grass. So basically, the procedure is you just stick it in your queen muff. We have a queen marking tube here. This is made out of a prescription bottle. You can buy one too, but uh, quite frankly, I like my homemade one better than uh, commercial ones. It's bigger. This is a piece of uh, uh, mesh that I got from, I think, a bag of onions or something like that. And you just put a rubber band, a little bit of cushion, and a dowel. Real easy to make. So we put that in here. Inside. This way, if you do release the queen, at least she's in this cage. Now you do have worker bees in here and they can sting you, but not too often. And generally, if you do it right, if you can bring it over in the sun here, I don't know, if, can, can you see it yep, very well? I can see. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to get her to walk in the cage. There. And there she goes, she's in the cage. Let me put, I don't know if you can see down in there or not. Yep, there she is. Okay. And uh, don't worry about getting stung by the queen. I've talked to people that kept bees for 40 years and he's never been stung by a queen. Although they can sting you. <laughs> um, they're usually pretty gentle. Come on girl, get down there. I try to get him to go up so I can put the plunger in. Mm -hmm. She's just right on my hand right now. And this is always a, come on girl, she can't get any traction. Maybe her foot pads are worn out. <laughs> okay, make sure I got her in there for you. Take it out. Yep. And obviously, it's best to take it out to mark the queen. Oh, she's beautiful. The advantage of just using one color too is, I think they sell six colors. And these pens are like six, seven dollars a piece. That's forty-two dollars in pens. And probably by the time you get to use your color again, it'll probably be dried up anyway. Okay, she's got a little tad of something on her, as you can see. And uh, let's see, I'll put my fingernail. So you just need a little dot like that on my thumbnail. Come on, stay still. Come on, I just smeared it. Come here, girl. Where's the nut going? Oh, there it goes. That's good. Come on. It's on there. Okay. Yeah, I got a little bit on the wing. <laughs> Not good for a demo. The one I did for you has got a perfect dot on her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, you should be able to see it a little better now. Anyway, that's the queen in the cage um, and what we could do is take her back to the hive what I do to release her let me get over here she's up at the top which is good and generally what I do is just put it over top of the frames come on girls move over and she can either has the option to walk down there she goes she's down in below that's another bee that came up now. So. Wow. So that's as easy as it is. <laughs>